Thank you. Aside from the debris you just saw, hundreds of full-size fallen trees remain scattered across the metro area, some blocking roads, others still resting on homes. Fox 12 Chandler Watkins saw crews out there working to clean up some of that mess. She also spoke with a couple that says they were inside their home when a tree came crashing down onto their house. She's live in Lake Oswego tonight. Chandler? Yeah, we're here on Westlake Drive where it meets Sun Creek Drive. You can see behind me, trees continue to cover the area. They've completely blocked this sidewalk. They're all along this side of the road. And as we pan it over here, you see they're covering one of the lanes here on Westlake. Now, thankfully, the resident we spoke to who had that tree fall through her home said that she and her husband are okay. But she says with this next round of bad weather coming tomorrow, they're staying somewhere else for the time being. They say they have concerns about other trees on their property and they aren't alone in those concerns. A tree removal crew that we spoke to this afternoon tells us tomorrow could lead to more down trees. On Waluga Drive in Lake Oswego, crews from Seattle and California were hard at work Monday evening, putting up a new transformer and restoring power to the area after a tree fell on the power lines. A few minutes down Boone's Ferry Road. It's uh, one of the worst storms I've seen in the area for a very, very long time. Monkey Man's Tree Service says they've had several crews out working nonstop since Friday. And we've been bouncing around between jobs, all, all crazy. Um, trees on houses everywhere. We've been to probably close to 50 jobs and it's not stopping. On Kimball Court, Patty Russell says over the weekend her husband voiced concerns with a tree in their front yard. And so we thought it was probably going to hit our closet in our office. And so we tried to empty it as quick as we could. Um, we had about 20 minutes and it kept swaying. And he's like, we got to get it out of here. So we went down to the end of the house and it came through our house. She tells us her neighbors immediately rushed over to help. We had um, three neighbors up on our roof within 10 minutes helping us put tarps down and plywood up. And they're very, it's a huge blessing to us. Russell says they'll be staying with family and friends for a while. We have a few more unstable trees. That's why we're evacuating. While there are concerns with more severe weather expected Tuesday, they're trying to focus on the positives. We're thankful that no one was, no hurt. One was hurt. It's, it's just tough. The foreman that we spoke to today says that the freezing rain on Tuesday will not be stopping them. He says they'll continue to try to make it as safe as possible for residents and urges people, if you can, to avoid large trees. Just stay away from them and be careful over the next few days. Reporting in Lake Oswego, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12, Oregon.